my man Cannon. He says, could A&M and Texas realistically play three times this college football season? Cannon, you said what we're all thinking. You said what I think a lot of us were thinking even a couple of weeks ago. The answer is yes. The answer is emphatically yes. Now, is it likely? We'll unpack how that would happen uh, right now together. But one, like, can you just imagine how epic this would be? Like, af- after we haven't had this game since November of 2011, and we're about to get it three times in a two-month span, I also want to make sure I say this. When it comes to the social media side of things, I want to highlight both Texas and Texas A&M because both these fan bases, man, they have always been about it. Like, even when they weren't playing, you could post a Texas A&M content item or a Texas tweet or whatever, and, like, the mentions would just be, um, I mean, it was it was Armageddon every single time. And it's like, y'all haven't played in, what, a, a minute here? And it's like, no, they still do not like each other. The, the blood is still very much so bad. So the rivalry juice would be there in case anybody was wondering. College football sickos, make sure you are subscribed. We have had a ton of y'all join the channel throughout the course of the season. We're glad to have y'all here. If you have not yet subscribed, we're glad to have you a part of this. We appreciate you in advance for being dialed in. Uh, now, how would this happen? Well, the great news is we're guaranteed to get this game, game one. And God bless everybody who uh, is purchasing tickets to that game. Uh, a better way to say that, everyone who is taking out a loan to buy tickets to that game. I appreciate y'all. Y'all some college football sickos. We get it once in the regular season. Okay. Boom. For all y'all keeping track at home, uh, that's game one. Now, game two would obviously be in the SEC championship game in Atlanta. Now, Texas A&M and their Atlanta path, pretty straightforward. The mission for them, hey, just don't implode. Hey, just don't drop a game that you're not supposed to drop. Now, Easier said than done because uh, what awaits Texas A&M, but two of the, I believe, most difficult road venues in the SEC, if not college football. You got South Carolina. Got to go there this weekend. Scrappy, gritty, hungry South Carolina team. Got to play them in that defensive line. You got to go to Auburn. Now, I know you're looking at Auburn and saying, ah, easy dub. I'm just saying now, Auburn, don't let that record deceive you. Hugh Freeze is still, uh, still cooking a little bit offensively there. If they don't turn the football over, they're a tough out. So you should win both those football games. But I'm, I, don't, I just want to make sure we're on the same page here. Uh, those are not cakewalk games. They're games you should win. They are not games that you get to win by just walking in the building. And then you play Texas. Now, the good news is you can go 2-1 and one in that stretch and still feel pretty good about making the SEC title game. But regardless, uh, if you go 3-0, and you're obviously in the college football playoff. As you have done the legwork now to be undefeated in the SEC. So, again, the path for A&M, pretty straightforward. Not the worst incline in the world when it comes to climbing out there to Atlanta. Now, for Texas, it's not quite as simple. You need a little bit of help here. Because right now, you do not hold the tiebreaker with another one-loss SEC team, and that is Georgia. Now, Georgia doesn't have the uh, the most easy path throughout the rest of the regular season. They got Florida. And again, Florida's Florida. Okay, so I don't want to overhype what that matchup could be. It's a rivalry game. Crazier things have happened. Georgia should win, but you still got to play the game. You go to Arkansas, again, should win, should Georgia, uh, but you play Kentucky and, uh, or excuse me, I'm off off base here. Uh, You go to Ole Miss, and then you play Tennessee if you're Georgia. I was looking at Texas' schedule. So to recap it here, Georgia has Florida, at Ole Miss, and Tennessee as the most difficult games they have left in SEC play. Now looking at Texas, you also have Florida. And then you play Arkansas at Arkansas, you play Kentucky, and you play a game at A&M. And that, again, will be cinematic. We can't wait for that one. But going back to the talking point here, if Georgia drops one more game and you win out, you're in. Like that that is the headline here. Win out, have Georgia lose one more. At Ole Miss, I don't think it'll be a cakewalk. Tennessee will not be a cakewalk. All right, so you're uh, you're praying for a Georgia loss here. All in all, very possible. Very, very possible we see that game a second time in Atlanta. Now, game three is where this gets really interesting because that would be in the college football playoff. And if they're going to play in a game before the national championship, you need a couple of things to break your way from the selection committee. You would need the, in this case, Texas and Texas A&M. So one's the SEC champ. One is the SEC runner-up. You need them to have this pairing of seeding. You need the SEC champ to be the number one seed. And you need the runner-up to be the number five seed. Or you need the SEC champ to be the number two seed and the runner-up to be the sixth seed. If you get a game where it's like, let's, let's just say uh, the, the champ is number one on the, on the seeding for the college football playoff and the runner-up is the number six seed. 
Well, you could still find yourself playing in, in the college football playoff. It would just be in the national championship. Why? Because you're on different sides of the bracket. So it would be helpful or in, increase the chances of us seeing this game a third time if you were to have that seeding work out how I just mentioned. But regardless, it's definitely still possible. Um, now, I, just, I, have to, I have to just mention this because it would be nuts. Let's just say the seeding works out in a way where it does happen to be SEC champ is number one and the runner-up is number six or the number two seed is the SEC champ and the number five seed is the runner-up. Just like roll with me here if you can visualize what that would look like. If they end up both winning and playing for the national championship, let me rephrase that, if they both take care of business and win their sides of the bracket and play for the national championship, can you imagine the pandemonium we would have across college football? Those two fan bases, like those two fan bases Texas was starving for a long, long time and just got a little bit of the appetite um, taken care of last year with winning the Big 12, making the college football playoff. But like with how hungry and how rabid both those fan bases are, if they were to meet in the national championship in a rivalry game, uh, that would be cinematic. That would also probably mean that uh, Jesus is coming back very soon. So like, I mean, enjoy that. But like what I'm trying to say here is this would be nuts and it's possible. All says it's possible. So again, is it likely now that we will see this game three times? You need some breaks. You need Georgia to lose a game if you're a Texas fan to find your way to Atlanta. But still, very possible. And uh, I think in our heart of hearts, all of us are just, all of us are at least a little bit rooting for this to happen. So we'll keep a pulse on that. And uh, I just I love we get it one time. To be real with y'all.